Yeah, for more on this, let's welcome in Editor-in-Chief at the National Memo, Joe Connison, and President at the American Principles Projects, Terry Schilling. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for being back with us here at Wake Up America Weekend. And it is Memorial Day weekend, so a blessed Memorial Day weekend to your families as we remember our falling. Uh, Joe, I'm going to jump right in. Let's start with you. Does, uh, Justice Alito has not responded to the pine tree flag. He has said that the upside down flag, which is usually used as a symbol of protest, was his wife's decision after a dispute with their neighbors. So is it fair to ask him to recuse himself from these rulings over an action which wasn't his? Well, you know, the, the canons of ethics for the justices are pretty clear. It's his house, and he is uh, responsible for what happens in his house, I would say, rather than blaming his wife, which isn't the, you know, um, doesn't a a accord with uh, what you'd expect from someone like him, at least not in my case. But I, I think... Uh, they're not supposed to en engage in politics. This was a political statement about a matter before the court. I want you to imagine, Michael, how you would feel if you found out that while a, a gay rights issue was before the court, uh, one of the liberal justices was flying the rainbow flag outside their home. Or if you saw that uh, while an abortion case or a, 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 a contraception case was before the court, that one of the justices was found to be uh, sticking, you know, Planned Parenthood bumper stickers all over their cars. I mean, this is a display of partisanship in that pertains to a specific case. We know Justice Alito won't recuse because in a much more serious matter, he took a big gift from a billionaire uh, who was involved in a case before the court uh, and also didn't recuse when that was discovered. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's troubling how uh, Justice Alito seems to feel that he's above the canons of ethics that not only apply to him, but to all justices and judges in this uh, federal system and to all employees of the court who are also prohibited from making those kinds of displays by the justices themselves. Terry? So there it is, saying, Terry. Uh, well, no, it's it's like Joe's trying to say that Alito should have kept his his wife in line. Right. I mean, we're all married to someone and sometimes they we disagree with them and that's OK. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it's a far reach uh, to say that flying the flag upside down is a January 6th symbol. Uh, people have been flying the flag upside down out of concern for their country. It's a sign that you believe your country's in distress. It's it's preposterous. But if we're going to go down this route about judges having preconceived and prejudged notions before cases, then let's talk about Judge Merchan, uh, who's who's trying. Uh, President Trump right now, whose daughter is a active Democratic uh, fundraiser, who's actively run, uh, fundraising off of this case in New York, trying to throw a former president in jail. It's just preposterous. You know, I've been married for 15 years. My wife and I, I, I would, you know, it'd be nice if we could control our wives, but I don't want to. Uh, you know, she's free to speak her mind. It's great. It helps strengthen me. I, you know, this is all about actually like a local neighborhood dispute between the Alitos and a neighbor that was flying an obscene sign in front of their yard. It was out of that. It was in response to that. It had nothing to do with January 6th. I think we need to show a little bit more charity to our fellow Americans and stop trying to interfere with, with things like this in the courts. They just, Democrats know they're about to lose this case and, and they're trying to do everything they can to cloud uh, the overall ruling that comes out here. All right, let's, uh, steering away from controlling wives for a second, I want to talk about the pine tree flag. <laughs> Uh, because this is largely used uh, to symbolise Christian nationalism. Uh, it was also hung by Speaker Mike Johnson shortly after he received the gavel last fall, although it was also used by people on January the 6th as well. So, Terry, it, look, it has... Sorry, Joe, I'm coming to you. This has different meanings, people say. Do you think that the Democrats are blowing things out of proportion here, or do you think this is legitimate? Well, I think it's a pattern with Justice Alito. And, you know, the U.S. flag code says you don't fly the flag upside down, except in cases of extreme distress. I mean, that's very clear. You're not supposed to do that. And, uh, you know, you I think that the, the judge had, had polite. The Constitution says you can, and the Constitution <laughs> says you can fly it upside down. But that doesn't mean okay. you should. And I don't think you should burn the flag either. I would object strongly to that if somebody, if I saw somebody doing that. But, uh, you know, this is, these are, uh, instances of a pattern that 
is troubling. And the, the pattern is Alito, that we're losing our that, country and they're trying to appeal to heaven. Does it bother you, does it bother you, does it bother you <laughs> Terry, that he took money from uh, Paul Singer and then said, I don't on the know case? anything about that. I don't know anything oh, well, about you that. Should look at it. You should look at it. Take All right, will, fair I enough, will, guys. We're going to leave it there. We're talking about flags. Paul Singer has nothing to do with these flags. But <laughs> All right, Joe and Terry, thank you very much, as always. And again, a blessed Memorial Day as we remember our fallen and their families. Thank the you. Same to you, Michael. Thank you both. Thank you.